Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm working with Sheen Jai hair. I believe that's how you say it. I'm not exactly sure, but I believe that's how you say it. They um, sent over to me a curly wig, and I'll show y'all the wig. It's a 12 inch, I believe, uh, 13 by 6 in 13 by 6 um, frontal, and it has lace all the way around in the back, so it can be a 360. It comes with an elastic band in it, and also came with an additional elastic band, I guess, in case you messed that one up in the uh, box. And then it has like four combs in there, three around the middle, and then one in the back. So here I'm just going in and spraying a little bit of Got To Be Free spray so that I can protect the hair and the lace and all that and then i'm just going in with a mixture of um bleach so that i can bleach the knots and after looking at this wig i had already started putting the um bleach on it looked like the bleach the knots was already bleached so i went in and actually bleached just a little bit more than i should have because i didn't realize that the knots was bleached until after i had already started um bleaching the knots but uh i didn't want it to still look like there was any knots anywhere but anyway the um i'm just going ahead and putting the bleach mixture uh paste or whatever all over the front and right there along the sides now this wig can be parted everywhere on the side because it only has about two inches of parting space on the sides and then the back goes all the way back i think it's like a six by six closure but there is lace on both sides and then all the way around is about two inches of lace all the way around now on the description it does say that this is a full lace wig and i believe it does has have full lace all the way around but um most of it is just tracked in with a closure uh, okay so i had a little bit of extra bleach left over and i just went in and put a few little streaks in there because this is going to be for my niece and y'all seen her before on the channel this is nisha and it's just Nisha on um, YouTube. But anyway, she I think she's trying to go natural. I'm not really sure what's happening here, but <laughs> I went in with some pink oil moisturizer. You just want to use as much as you need. So if you need three squirts full or three pumps full, that's how much you need. And then I'm just going to go in with my blow dryer and comb attachment so that I can like straighten her roots out because I guess she's trying to go natural. I'm not sure. <laughs> And she, she's been having a relaxer. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go through and blow dry the rest. Blow dry her hair out with the comb attachment. It's already completely dry. I'm just going through so I can kind of, like, detangle it. Okay, so that's the hair once it's completely blow dried straight. And then here's the wig after I have shampooed it out. I just went through with some purple shampoo. And that's the curl pattern. It has a really cute curl pattern. I believe it's Jerry Curl, but on the website it says just curly. And then those are the little highlights that I put in there. And then here I'm going in with the Ruby Kisses foundation. I think that's the number 10. And I'm just going to apply with the e.l.f. steepling brush all over the front. Everywhere that the frontal is going to be on the wig, I'm just going to apply the um, Ruby Kisses. And get it to look more like her skin tone. If you if your um, makeup is not the, exactly the same color, I mean, don't be alarmed. Because you just want to get it like a skin color. It doesn't exactly have to be like totally that um color of your skin because you don't want to have to go out and buy every color of ruby kisses so you just want to get one that's kind of similar to your client or your skin and then here i'm just cutting the extra stocking cap off of uh, the wig cap and i use the rest of my um stocking cap to wipe and clean the face with alcohol so i do not throw mine away just yet so I cut it off from the front and and then I cut the back off and then I'm just going in with some 91% alcohol. If you can find that, because I know it's hard to find, you just want to clean the face around the face right in front of the cap and the ears. And then here's the wig again. And I'm just going in with that same concealer from Ruby Kisses and I'm just applying it to the lace 
so that the lace can match the cap. So you just want to use your brush or whatever you have to apply your lace and just, I mean, apply your uh, concealer and just put it everywhere. And then also to seal the concealer in so it don't transfer, I just put a little bit of got to be free spray. So here I'm using the Ghost Bun XL and I'm actually going to go in with and apply three layers of the Ghost Bun XL. And then I'm just using the edge brush with the little spatula on the end to apply the um got i mean the ghost bun and then i'm just gonna do it in three layers so you may see me only doing one layer here but i'm actually gonna put down three layers at least one inch wide Okay, and then if you have somebody, or if you have a low hairline, you may have to get some glue onto the hairline. It's totally fine as long as you take it off correctly. So anyway, here's the wig right here, y'all. And I have already cut the lace off of the wig. I found that this gives a more natural, you know, melt to the, I mean, it looks totally natural if you just uh, go ahead and cut most of that lace off now. And then um, I just kept having malfunctions. I'm having to take hair off of glue and everything. So anyway, I'm just sitting the um, the wig down. And I had went to the restroom while I was waiting on the glue to dry and actually was gone too long. So the glue had started to um, dry faster than I needed it to. And so that's why you see me laying this wig down. And I'm going to have to go back in and re-glue most of it. Well, not take it up, but just like add some more glue to like the edges because it did not start to melt into the skin like it should have. It was just kind of sitting on top of the skin looking really white. And I did not want that. So I did go back in and add some extra glue so that all the parts that had started drying faster than I needed it to would get re-glued so but anyway i'm just going ahead and laying the hair down on the um glue that's still sticky and i'm gonna go back in with a below dryer and make sure that those parts are laid down and then i'm just gonna go ahead and fix that um the edges so that it'll be melted down okay so i did go back in i don't have the clip for that i don't know why but anyway i'm just leaving out the areas where i'm gonna um put her baby hair and then I'm just gonna go in with the blow dryer to make sure that everything is melted down as you can see it looks a whole lot better everything is laying down like really good it like is blended in with the skin and then here I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more of the got to be free spray you're gonna see me use that a lot and then I'm just gonna go in with the elastic band and I'm just gonna melt this sucker down I mean, if, if I can get to stay, I'm going to melt it down. <laughs> so I'm going to get Nisha to hold the um, hair up because it's pretty short. So, And then I'm just going to um, tie it down really good. You just want to tie it down really, really good so that the lace melts right into the skin. And even after I had messed, messed up, it still laid down and melted into the skin. I also want to say that my niece is actually 15 years old. I know some people in the other videos were saying that she was too young to be getting lace done and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. She got a 12 inch lace frontal wig and she's 15 years old and I'm not gonna let her wear anything too grown. So just for clarification for that, I just want to put that in there. And then also I want to tell y'all about how inexpensive this wig is. The wig starts out at $50 and the most expensive length is $132 so if you're on a budget like most of us are from COVID-19 you can go get this wig for for $132 like you ain't gonna be able to beat that so anyway I'm done taking the I took the um elastic band off and as you can see the wig is melted honey do you hear me so I'm just taking some um tweezers and tweezing the um baby hair out a little bit more because um the hair was pre-plucked i didn't say that but the hair was pre-plucked but it was still really really thick i mean like even after i plucked the whole thing it was still super super thick 
So I think that's a good thing though, because you can just go in and customize it. You won't lose a lot of the hair. But um, the hair, like, I'm just tweezing the hairline just so that the baby hairs won't be too thick and that, um, you know, it just won't look so wiggy. So anyway, I'm just going through and that's what I'm doing, taking my tweezers and I'm just thinning out where the baby hair will be. I already went through and tweezed the area behind the baby hair. But just like I said, this wig is like super, super thick. So if you like thick wigs, this one right here is not going to disappoint you. Okay, y'all, I'm just taking my scissors here, and I'm just cutting this hair about around like a half inch, I believe. Um, or it may be between an inch and half an inch. You can cut it a little shorter if you want to. And also, it could have been plucked just a little bit more, too. But we wanted to make some cute baby hair, so I think that was pretty decent how they look. So, yeah, I'm just taking my scissors, and I'm just cutting it, trying to cut all the little pieces really good and then I'm just gonna go in and cut the side cut a sideburn also so that she have like a little laid sideburn and then that's how it should look I don't know how I lost the clip of the um baby hair getting done I'm so sorry but I did go in with the even gel it's just it looks just like the um got to be glued um edge control i mean gel but um i don't know i lost the clip but anyway i'm going in with some she's bum wax stick and i'm just like defining the part i'm going in with the pressing comb and then i'm just getting the part um straightened out y'all can see a little bit that i i told y'all that i had bleached the knots on this wig and they were already bleached so i kind of like over bleached them but it's fine it all works out um really good because even with the over bleach knots it still didn't look bad and then here i just went in with some more got to be free spray of course y'all gonna see me spray this uh, over and over again during the lace video or you can use whatever hairspray you prefer and so i just went in with my blow dry and then just kind of make sure that the hair um spray was dry and then here i'm cutting off the um uh, paper wrap that i put around there um for the baby hair and that's how the baby hair looks I don't know how I lost the clip to that. But anyway, I'm going in with some Nairobi um, foam wrap and I'm just gonna define her curls with the Nairobi foam wrap. So after I put the Nairobi on there, I used the black demon brush to define the curls even more. Then I'm going in with a little angle brush in that same concealer that I used earlier. And I'm just kind of like detailing the edges and also defining the part. And then I'm just going in with this black hairspray that I got from Sally's. Not sure of the name, but you can use any kind that you have available. But this one is at Sally's. And then here I'm just using my um, diffuser that came with my new blow dryer. And I'm just defining the curls even more. And it just dries the hair and also you know defines the curls so you can use that if you don't have that attachment then just let it air dry and it'll be totally fine okay hey guys this is the final look if you made it to this point of the video and you love my video leave a yellow heart in the comments if you love my video don't forget to like comment subscribe click that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video i have all the links to this um hair listed below and all of my social media so don't forget to go and follow me thank you guys so much for watching